Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I am back this week with the edit. This is our weekly roundup of new sewing pattern releases from indie designers. Um, it's been a busy old week. We've got some really good stuff. Um, before I get going, I just wanted to apologise to anyone who has been struggling getting on site over this week. We had a couple of days, ah, two days, where the site just went a bit skew -iffy. Um Anyway, the guys worked on it and it should all be like back and working now, but I just wanted to say sorry. So that was what was happening. So we were behind the scenes frantically trying to fix it. Um, but it was just some sort of nerdy, you know, I don't, I don't even know what was wrong with it to be honest, but it's all, it's all done now. So I've got some really great patterns. Let's talk about actually something that I know about rather than coding. Um, so first things first, we've got Bella Love patterns, the Linda dress. This is potentially my, oh, it's a, it's a good week. It could be my favorite of the week. Um, let me kind of show you the line drawing so we can talk about it and see what all the details are. So um, you can see from the dress here, it's a panel dress. It's got a split up the side. It's got this really lovely detail around the front of it. So it's got gathering all around the kind of um, the neckline and also around underneath the bust. So obviously over the bust then all that gathering kind of makes space for your boobs. And um, it's then got gathering around the um, shoulder as well so that you get these like sort of really nice little cap sleeves. I think the neckline on this is really elegant. Um, I like that it's sort of, it goes over the shoulders, but it's quite wide and low. I think it's really, it's quite sexy. Um, I think this could be a really lovely party dress if you're thinking you'd like to make something for the upcoming kind of festivities. Um, it would look great in loads of different things. I haven't even told you about sizing. I've just got straight into it. So um, sizing, this comes in a UK six to 22. The interesting thing about this is they've got two height bandings. So you can either choose from a height group one, which is drafted on a five foot three model or block, sorry. And um, the height group two that is drafted on a five foot seven block. So that's really nice for anyone kind of at the upper or lower echelons of the height spectrum. You don't have to make so many alterations, which is fantastic. Next up, we've got the Olo pants and tea set from Named Clothing. Um, this isn't, we haven't had a release for a while and we're really excited about this. I think this is quite a clever pattern. So in terms of um, the kind of format it comes in, you can either buy it in paper, which you get the top and the bottoms together. You can buy it in PDF where you get the top and the bottoms together, or you can buy them separately. So you just get the tops or the bottoms. Um, so names always do this where they split everything up so you can get kind of bits when they make sets. So that's the first thing. Um, it's, yes, I said paper and pet. Yeah, I've, I've covered all of those things. So let's talk about the pattern. You can see here, it's, I really like this. I think it's clever because you can make this and wear this as kind of quite chic loungewear, or I think you can make this as like full throttle pajamas. I think it's clever because so you can use it in two different ways. So the two options for the tops, you can see that there's a V-neck option. It's got a slightly dropped shoulder um, or the other option is it's quite um, nice sort of, it's in between a funnel neck and a cowl neck. I, I, I really like the cut of it. I think it's quite clever. So it sort of drapes a little bit, but it's also high neck. I think the finish that they've used on this is really great. That little, um, you can do it on the overlocker, can't you? That kind of um, finished hem and it just adds that really lovely detail. This um, top is cut slightly longer than the, um, actually no, it's not, it's about the same, sorry. I thought it was longer than the other one, but it's quite, it's cut quite long. So it looks nice. You can see it with the trousers. It kind of comes down over your bottom, kind of finishes sort of a high thigh, I would say. Um, but yeah, I thought this would be a really nice Christmas option. I thought you could either make like matching sets for your whole family, which would be quite fun in like block colours, or you could go like full th throttle festive and get some really like garish fun Christmas um, fabric and make kind of sets for families. So yeah, there's sort of, it's sort of loungewear and pyjama potential all in one pattern. So yeah, we're really, really happy and excited to have that. 
Next up, we have got a pattern from True Bias. Um, we've got the Riley overalls. So these are available in PDF at the moment. They will be available in paper at some point, but um, it might be in quite a while. So if you're really into them, I would go down the PDF route probably. So in terms of the sizing for this, it's split into two size bandings. So you can either get it in sizes um, zero to 18 or 14 to 30. Um, I said it was PDF only at the moment. There is copy shop option if you can't be bothered to cut it out and stick it all together. Um, there are two variants for this. So it's a classic pair of dungarees. You can see here, there's loads of really nice details on it. You, lots of top stitching. You need a bit of hardware with the um, dungaree clips and things. I will pop a link to really lovely Merchant and Mills hardware down below if you want it, which is black and uber chic. Um, yeah, I just there's 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 lots of good details on this. The thing I really like about these sort of sewing projects is you can pick them up, do them for a bit, and put them back down again. And the top stitching actually, once you get into it, is a really nice and satisfying thing to do if it goes right. So the you can see from the um, um, pictures that the cut on the trouser is quite straight. Um, the shortest version of this, I think, is really cute. Uh, I really like this double pocket kind of detail on the bib. You can see it's got this like little second mini pocket, which I think is lovely. And then the back, it kind of comes in quite um, it, quite a sharp V actually, it and kind of wraps over and there's like, again, more top stitching going on. So if you're thinking about upping your sewing game, in terms of the fit, um, I probably would recommend making a twelve for this because you don't want to make it do half, well start with a bit of top stitching and realise it doesn't fit. So a twelve I would say definitely for this. But I think I prefer the, the shortest version of this. What do you guys think? Um, I just, yeah, I'm quite, I was quite excited by it. So yeah, anyone who loves Dunkarees, these are for you. So up next we've got Waves and Wild. We've got two patterns from them. Anyone who watched my video, I think it would have been last week or the week before, there was a children's pattern they released called the Salt Air Cardigan. They've now brought out a men's and a women's version of this as well, so you can basically buy them for the entire family. Um, they're quite similar in that, I mean, I would imagine, I haven't kind of laid the patterns over the top of each other, I'd imagine that they're pretty similar in terms of the cut because it's a jersey pattern, so you've got the stretch. Um, there's two options. So you can have a slightly longer one with no fastenings down the front, or you can have one marginally shorter, patch pockets. It's got a nice kind of big band going around the neckline and down the front of the um, cardigan and button up. So again, you could leave the shorter one without any fastenings, or you could add fastenings onto the longer one. I mean, the choice is yours. But yes, yeah, so that's available for men and women now, which is great. Next, we have got a free pattern, which is very exciting because let's be honest, we all love a free pattern. Um, so this is from Putty Dom and it's called the Hoonie T-shirt or sweatshirt. This is available as a free pattern until Monday, so tomorrow. So if you do want it, go and get it today. Um, it's really cute. So it, go, it comes in ages two to 16 years. Um, it's a really great useful pattern so it's a t-shirt a long sleeve top and you can see it's quite kind of oversized and loose fitting which I think is really nice because it will look great for boys and girls um, and again really useful because I think you could make this and then size it up for each year and everyone likes a kind of baggy t-shirt let's be honest and you can whip them up very quickly so yeah, if you're after something, you know, if you haven't, if you've got like kids or friends who've got children and you want to make something for them for Christmas, if you're that nice, this could be a really nice option because it's free as well. So go for it, grab it while you can. So last but not least, we've got three patterns, new releases from Liesl & Co. Um, these come in paper and PDF. The um, PDF is here, the paper is coming. So I think in about a week's time from now, the paper will be here. So if you look, if you prefer paper, just hang on a week. Um, if you're not bothered and happy with PDF, then go, go, go. There's also copy shop if you can't wait, um, or can't be bothered to stick it all together. 
So I'll talk about each one of the, them. The first one is called the Strasbourg Henley bodysuit. All of these patterns available in a size zero to 20. Um, so the bodysuit and top, I really love this. I think it's really nice. So I think bodies look fantastic tucked up. Well, obviously, because they kind of have poppers at the bottom. They're basically like a baby grow <laughs> for an adult. Um, can you tell I've had a kid recently? Um, they've got poppers kind of underneath the crotch. Um, nice V-neck um, top with button, like kind of little three little button details down the front. It's actually a really lovely neckline on this. Long sleeved, you can also make it short sleeved. And then there's a t-shirt version as well that's got this really, the same nice detail. There's a pocket, little patch pocket as well, just above the bust, which looks really great. But I think it's a really useful item as something that you could make over and over again and get loads and loads of wear out of. So next up, we've got the Peckham's trousers. Um, these are really great pattern if you're looking to make a kind of classic pair of chinos. Um, Lisa & Co do really kind of great classic patterns if you haven't come across them. So again, this is available in PDF and paper that's coming and it's the same size range. So it's got this, you can see from the front, it's got kind of slip pockets at the side, um, a curved waistband, proper kind of hidden tailored fly. Um, at the back, you can see it's got two darts that go into the pocket. So there's some really nice details. You'll learn lots of good stuff if you haven't done well pockets before. This is a really nice opportunity to do them. And because they're such a classic shape, once you've spent some time kind of nailing the fit and making it perfect, you could make these each, you know, every year or two and get loads and loads of wear out of. I think it's a really useful pattern. So last but not least, it's actually quite a simple skirt. It's called the, oh, the Gary Baldy A-line skirt. Is it actually, it's called the, it's called Gary Baldy. Sorry, I read it as like Gabriella and then when I actually, Gary Baldy, it is Gary Baldy. It's probably not pronounced Gary Baldy, but that's what it's now going to be known as. Um, A-line skirt. So this is a really good pattern if you're a beginner. It's a really simple shape. Um, again, quite a useful pattern if you like that sort of A-line shape. It's got a waistband or one of the versions, pockets, and then the other version is kind of a really straight, simple one without a, a waistband. Um, again, it's available in PDF and paper and the same size range. So yeah, if you're newish to sewing, you really like this shape, this is a, I would, Lisa & Co have really great patterns, so I would recommend the Gary Baldy. Um, oh. I would love a Gary Baldy biscuit now. Um, yeah, sorry, I've got distracted. Um, yeah, so that's a really nice, simple pattern. So that is it for me. Um, I hope that was good, and I hope you found something nice to sew this week, and we will be back soon with another video. Have a lovely rest of the weekend. Bye.